Tasting like a boss, special edition. We just got back from Epcot. You might see some of the videos we did. The one where we did that Italian uh, uh, in a can coffee in Norway. So we did Italian coffee in Norway. And one where we did a, uh, a Japanese coffee beverage in Japan, again, at Epcot today. But we promised we were gonna do a special review and this one's going back to college. Uh, tomorrow morning so we want to get it done before she goes and this is going to be a three-way review same time it's a very weird night we got kylo ren here he might get down in a second so uh, there you go uh if i find myself as a florida fan rooting for this girls team of florida state right now they're beating lsu so it's there's a lot going on but we're going to try to keep our heads straight and focus on the mission which is a three-way review of a uh, flavor i've been waiting to try for a while and there's gonna be some additional considerations because of it, because I know a lot of people out there have some strong feelings about it. And it is What the Fluff. What the Fluff by Bones Coffee. It is a cotton candy flavored uh, 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 coffee. But I gotta start out with the artwork. As I said before, I think the one thing that's better than Bones Coffee is their graphic design. It's just always really cool and always on point. This one, again, is very interesting but it does make me wonder what's going on on it. All the other covers, I kind of can tell what's happening. And this one, I don't know what's going on. Is he making the teddy bear evil by stuffing it with cotton candy? Uh, was it a bad one? He's taking off the hook and he's making good. I, I think he's making him evil, given the face. But then, then once he makes it evil, the other teddy bears are looking evil that are on the hooks are like looking at this teddy bear. Like what's gonna happen? I. I don't know. I don't know the plan. I don't know what this guy is thinking, and it's crazy. Another thing is what the fluff is different in that its shirt is different than the other bone shirts. I don't know if this is going to be something they do in the future, but for this one, they have an emblem in the front and then the full graphic design in the back as opposed to just the graphic design in the front. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure if I, I'm going to get the shirt one way or the other uh, just because, you know, uh, there are other shirts I want to get instead. But if they're going to do the logo in the front and the picture in the back, that kind of reminds me of Ocean Pacific shirts or TNC Surf Design shirts from when I was a kid. We got you always fighting in the back. Anyway, that's enough about that. Let's get to the actual flavor and smell and everything else. So when we pop this thing open and I give it a smell. It, 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 <laughs> we got Dustin and Kylo okay. engaged in war. Okay, I, I smell, if I smell ever so slightly... I smell cotton candy, but this one has smelled it and she smelled something else. It smells like bananas. She thinks it smells like bananas. And I'll tell you, if I take a deep smell now that she said that, that's all I smell is bananas. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, but anyway, when you do brew it, it doesn't give off much of a smell when you brew it in the house, except just coffee. You're not getting like a pumpkin smell or a chocolate smell. Uh, at least I didn't notice. So we're gonna start with a cold brew like we always do. Cold brew. Um, yeah. Cold brew. She's never done a three-way review. So here we go. Tasting like a boss. Yeah. I like it. If you, if, after you watch, try this. Take a sip of it and then wait a couple seconds afterwards and tell me what you think. Tastes good. I notice I can taste the cotton candy flavor. It doesn't taste creamy. It's got the, it, 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 which it shouldn't, it's cotton candy. You can taste the sugary aspects. And it is like, I, I don't, I don't taste banana, uh, banana. I taste a little bit of berry. Yeah, I was gonna say that. And then when you stop, and you let it sit, then that's when you really taste Coffee? cotton candy. I know I can oh. taste that cotton candy afterwards on the back of my tongue. Just a little bit like that, that, I don't know if I, it's like I can, can smell the cotton candy. I don't know, that's weird. But anyway, that's good. So it was a cold brew. I have to say, I, I prefer creamier chocolate and uh, pumpkin cold brews and maybe even peach cold brew. But at the same time, this is this is pretty good. So I can make it as a cold brew. So let's move to the, let's do this. They're gonna kill each other. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my let's God. stop killing each other. Kyle, Dustin. come here. Kyle, come here. Kai, 
If they okay. kill each other, I, what do you mean? We're Next not gonna, one. We don't edit reviews here, so we're gonna we're gonna chug through. Let's try the espresso. We usually do espresso last. Is it hot? It's warm. I mean, it's not gonna burn you. So tastes like a boss espresso. It's it's good for espresso. I just I just don't like espresso by itself. It, it isn't special. What I mean by that, because you haven't tried the other ones, is sometimes in these uh, uh, flavored coffees, there's a different aspect to the flavor on the espresso. So you're not just making the coffee, you're not just grinding beans and doing the espresso style and getting an espresso taste. You're getting something afterwards. Here- It's good, I would just never drink it by itself. I feel like you're kind of wasting it. I think espresso, the espresso style is burning out the flavor. So this isn't the way to go. So this, I got something special for you. Okay. Okay. Sorry about the dogs trying to kill each other. Hold on one second. You gotta stop me. Hey, Kai. Kai, Kai, come here. Go to mama. Okay. Okay, Kai is gonna go to mama the boss right now and hopefully their war will end. This is drip. It's drip black, okay? There's no sugar in it yet. Yeah, no, it's okay. just this, it's hot. We usually, for the people who watch these, I don't do uh, the drip with any sugar or cream or anything like that. I do. But we're gonna do it today because of this flavor and what I've seen in the Bones community about their explanations of this flavor. So let's try drip black first. See what we think. Tastes like a boss. It tastes good, I would just never drink it like that. I can taste the cotton candy. Yeah. Not as much as in the cold brew. Cold brew always brings yeah, out more of a flavor. But this is the thing. We're gonna put one little stevia in. Okay. That's our thing. We put organic stevia in our family. I don't. We've moved from sugar to sweet and low, then to equal, then to Truvia. Not sponsored. No, it's Stevie. No, just we move, move all the way through. Oh, and I also got you um, a little bit, uh, just a little milk. I didn't want to put any flavor cream or anything like that in there. Because I'm told, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it without the creamer first, just a little bit of the of the sugar or the Stevia. And she's gonna try it, I think, with that. Me, so you wanna oh, do it now oh, or Oh, I need to put more in it. Okay, now, okay never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll do mine with the milk too. It's, it's better when it's creamer. I know, but I, I didn't want to put the vanilla creamer in it or anything like that. We don't just have cream in the house. All right, tasting like a boss. I like that better. It's really good. Oh, and you can really taste the cotton candy at the end now. Do you see that? Do you uh, yeah, that? I think it'd be better with creamer though. I know, but still, try it again and really focus on the cotton candy at the end. Yeah, you can taste it. You really better. can. Wow. Okay, so the people in the Bones community who've been talking about it, there's a lot of people say they swear this is their favorite one. I can see why. They have all these recipes for it. So here's my verdict, and you can give your verdict. Let's start with the espresso. There's absolutely no reason to do that. Yeah, I don't like that. that. That's a waste. If you don't had do that. that and you poured it over, like, whole milk and it had, like, a different flavor, that'd be good, but not by itself. No, I, espresso, don't even do it. It's a waste of your time. Drew? Oh. Well, I'm just going to cold brew. Cold brew, this is the one that pulls out the flavor without having to put anything else into it, so it really does pull the flavor out. It's just not my thing. You know what it is? It tastes like tea. Yeah, it's like peaches and scream, where it's almost like a tea. And this, this brewed for 24 hours. But you know, I like it. Maybe it's just I'm not a huge cotton candy fan, but it's, uh, if you really like cotton candy and you want a nice cold brew that tastes like cotton candy, do it for you, that's a thumbs up. On the drip, On the drip this is probably the best way to have it with, with a little bit of sweetener and some cream, if we actually had cream cream, it's good. It really is. Mm. Mm. I think it, it kind of is like blueberry pancakes when you have it with the creamer. So I think I like the best. I do too. Then this. For then me. This. Yeah. Best, middle worst. I think most people are going to like it this way first. 
But for weirdos like me, this and this would be a complete waste of time. Uh, so before I let you guys go, you'll notice we're shooting it this way as opposed to long ways. We're doing it landscape. Uh, if you guys prefer me doing the videos that way, put it in the comments in the, comment in the future. Below. Comment down below. Comment down below. I know it upsets people to have just the iPhone shot. I do it that way just to keep it simple because it's just usually me. But if you guys prefer it this way, I don't mind changing it that way. She does. It's better this way. She wants to edit things. So, yes. uh, thank you. Hit, keep hitting subscribe. Keep hitting like. Thank smash you so much. Smash that like button. <laughs> smash, smash that like button. Uh, what the fluff. It's worth it. It is good. Uh, give it a shot. And what do we do? We keep. Tasting like a boss. Keep tasting like a boss. Thanks, guys.